Hi friends, good morning. Uh, it is December, right? It is December now, and it's a little bit chilly in Goa here. <coughs> However, uh, it's not very cold. It's not the kind of cold that I love. Whether it's in November, December, January, it's not the cold that I really love because I really, really love cold. And even though a lot of people say that initially you love cold, but when you have to actually live in it every day, you start hating it. That's not true for me. Certainly not true for me because there have been times where I have traveled and it was chilly, it was raining, and I have been sitting out in the rain, just enjoying the chill. And that is also when I had, uh, you know, visions of a dragon, of a red dragon, who is my spirit guide. And to validate, because uh, there are dragons that are spirit guides and dragons are symbolic of uh, knowledge keepers, okay. So you must have heard about a dragon guarding the treasure, right. So in reality, the treasure is what, in reality, the real treasure is the DNA templates that are stored in your DNA. And uh, we talk about stealing energy and psychic cords, all of that, right, in our community. So that happens by distorting the energetic DNA templates, okay? So that is when uh, the wealth is stolen of the dragon, <laughs> the poor dragon. And uh, the dragon symbolically just is the meaning of the solar plexus chakra. So whenever you get all these activations, I remember this incident of seeing the dragon in my vision happened at Uti in the year 2013. Okay, so that was also a year where I was getting my solar plexus activations. Activation, okay. So now is also a time, but the activations that were happening back then were really slow because I wasn't fully activated by my twin flame. Whereas right now, the activations are happening really fast, okay. So, coming back to the point, solar plexus uh, symbolizes the dragon symbolizes the solar plexus okay dragon is an animal of the solar plexus because the solar plexus is in charge of the security just like a dragon it has a protective frequency protective energy so today my topic on uh, the solar plexus is validation okay so the solar plexus is the chakra of right decision making, the chakra of full knowledge, you know, because it represents the left brain hemisphere, it represents the higher mind. So the higher mind, the Shiva consciousness is the ultimate Shani, Saturn is the ultimate authority, is the ultimate sun, okay. So the left mind, the left brain or the solar plexus is the ultimate authority figure, the ultimate father figure. So when a woman or a man awakens their solar plexus, it's like rites of initiation into adulthood, okay? So, yeah, so my topic for today was validation. See, as a child, if when we are trying to be independent when we are learning to be independent and we come up with a unique decisions okay and those decisions should ideally be validated by the parents if they are incorrect the flaws should be pointed out and if the child make mistakes that should be allowed for okay and should be allowed for because there should be room for mistakes and growth However, if you had abusive parents or unhealthy parents or in, incompetent parents, which is the case why the whole world is dysfunctional, it starts the main hub is family and parenting. Okay, so that is where all the trauma occurs because depending on your karma, you are born into a certain uh, time, you are born into a certain family situation because it's the because at uh, till age seven the unconscious mind develops so if you have a safe environment you have a safe environment there is no damage to your unconscious mind but if there is a damage to your unconscious mind then that remains with you for your lifetime okay so coming back to the point of validation if as a child 
when you were trying to be independent and make your own decisions you were invalidated you were invalidated you were abused you were harassed you were shouted at you were yelled at you were not seen for the growth phase that you were in okay then what happens is there's a severe damage to your unconscious mind which is a damage to your chakra system because all the trauma imprints are stored in your solar plexus and as a result when you grow up you always remain codependent on other authority figures you never come to this place of your authority on your own okay so you always seeking validation for your decisions from the external world and this creates an energetic loop it creates a loop because if you are in a place where you are not sure and you are not at a balanced solar plexus where you can self validate you will always attract people who invalidate you right what do i mean i mean that if your solar plexus is having trauma and is polarized you will never meet the right authority figure you will never meet the right support in your life you know because this right support in your life is vibrationally available to you in your reality only at the balanced frequency of the solar plexus so this is why we have to be very careful of our interactions you know we have to really be very careful of our interactions because if there's any trauma in your solar plexus the external reality is designed in a way to always show you reflect you know the external is a mirror it's a hall of mirrors so you will always if this trauma stored in your solar plexus you will always have a dominating father or a dominating husband or a dominating boss you know you will always have this authority that keeps uh, showing you mirroring back to you the trauma that is stored inside the imbalance that is stored inside in your solar plexus okay especially for women women who are looking to live a balanced life you know when i mean balanced life not not codependency okay and it's again it's a journey it's a journey which takes years okay it doesn't happen in one or two years it's a journey that takes years a uh, solar plexus initiation will take you at least 3 years solar plexus initiation will take you at least you need at least 3 years to heal your solar plexus otherwise it doesn't work like that okay so you when your brain hemispheres are balanced okay when your left brain is fully activated you come to a place of being able to perceive situations correctly you know what is right and wrong you don't need a external what you say you know code code of conduct you become the sun and the sun is the one who creates the code of conduct who creates the rules who creates the structure who creates the management that is the sun so when you awaken your solar plexus your inner sun you come to that place you know you tap into the collective consciousness and you have access to the divine masculine mind okay so any leader <clears throat> any man who's very advanced and is 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 living in his divine masculine aspect you have total access to that aspect aspect because now you are connected to the god mind via the solar plexus by healing the blockages of the solar plexus so you come to a place where you are not dependent on validation from somebody else okay you know your decisions are right or wrong okay and again it doesn't mean you come to a place of perfection it's a process it's a process where you have to allow yourself to make mistakes you have to allow yourself to learn okay so this is what i have to share with you today it's 10 minutes and i hope all you all have enjoyed this message please give me a thumbs up like subscribe and please share this video especially if there are if you are a part of any women's group whatsapp groups you know just share this video and let's encourage each other to heal our childhood and return to us the rights that we deserve okay the balanced lifestyle that we all deserve especially as women okay so see you and see you next time